play. This stick that he used was the places where he used to ask for to show the lesions. Just uh, and how we have progressed in the Spanish flu. This is taken from uh, Brent Brigham Hospital in Massachusetts. And over a period of time, when the Spanish flu was getting over, these were the masks that were being used and was widely available in the 1920s. Modern day PPEs ideally should be something like this, where you are having a PAPR hood along with a cover of gown and all the necessary uh, aspects. These are the contents of PPE. I need not be deliberating more on them. However, uh, uh, there is always a question as to everybody when COVID comes up and everybody asks for uh, uh, maximum precautions to be taken. Whilst it is necessary that maximum precautions should be taken for uh, every life is precious. However, the government of India has actually issued a guideline which is for the rational use of PPE, wherein if you see only the ones that I have highlighted are the places along with this mortality while performing autopsy are the only cases where high risk, uh, 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 risk of transmission is high and hence maximum precautions are recommended only for these conditions. Uh, wherein you are managing a case in ICU facility and the risk of aerosol generating procedure is present. Any uh, severe acute, uh, acute respiratory illness ward which is at, uh, when you are attending to uh, study cases. Sample collection, so this was the uh, reason why I uh, highlighted this. Sample collection also being a risk gen uh, aerosol generating procedure. Hence, it is important uh, that only for these cases you need to have maximum uh, PPEs. Other than these, for all the cases where uh, conditions, where this is very, uh, I have put, posted that on the group also. So they have specifically categorized as to what should be the PP uh, or the protection that a club should be uh, taking, what should be the, once you are in the OPD, what should be your precaution and what uh, you should be taking. Mask is a very important factor, that's why I put in here. Masks that are today known as N95 or the Chinese equivalent is KN95 or European equivalent which is FFP2 masks. However, there are N99 masks also available as well as FFP3 masks also available. However, for uh, COVID cases, uh, it is not required. N95 is the standard of care that we should be uh, uh, Just to highlight turning and sequence, because even for sample collection, you need to have a uh, uh, PPA dawn. So this should be the dawning sequence and uh, when I speak of this dawning sequence, it is when you are using a coverall or gown, a coverall suit or a jumpsuit kind of thing. In a gown, the sequence slightly changes. However, what I larger purpose is to uh, minimize the risk. Same for doping sequence. Uh, this should be your uh, sequence of doping. Now we will skip all this. Coming on to the indications of sample collection. So uh, this was the earlier guideline and the uh, government of India again on 10th January just a day, uh, two days before came up with a fresh guideline. However, there is no major change in the guidelines. Just that they have added as to what is the spectrum of test. Other than this, there is uh, no, absolutely no change in the testing strategy that has to be followed. Few testing modalities have increased than what they were in the uh, last guideline of 10th of April. Uh, basically what they have included is CRISPR